Hello everybody, my name's Soda, and today my internet is broken. Uh, I've been waiting up all night, it's 3 in the morning, I gotta do something, and... Ugh. Today we're gonna be playing Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So what we're going to be doing is, I would like to show you that you can take this precariously balanced game, and I will be getting to that explanation in a minute, but you can take this game and you can take a woman, and that woman can break the balance over her knee like I do limbs of a person. Like, you can just, ah, you know, just, ah. So my favorite thing about this is that all these little troops have various things going for them, correct? Uh, right, so they can all only attack every certain number of seconds. I'll actually show you that here If I start a game and then possess the unit you see this guy throws a spear once every eight seconds It's a high damage attack. It's it's not you know, not very accurate, but if I was to hook It seems that I've been killed, but that is basically the name of the game here You know, you've got a unit. It's got health. It's got damage. It has attack speed and you got a certain number of coins here. I'm having a stroke, partially because it's 3 in the morning, uh, but partially because I'm drinking a glass of milk instead of a bottle of soda. I know, I know. But our job here is to use the red team to defeat the blue team. But rather than using a variety of different creatures, I'm going to be taking this game, and as I mentioned earlier, and maybe even as the thumbnail mentions, I'm going to be taking my favorite secret unit, which are units you find by using free camera mode while the match is going on, and I'm going to take this unit, and we're just going to obliterate uh, maybe the entire simulation campaign. I don't know. Maybe. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, as you saw, one one spearman, he throws a spear, doesn't go very far. He gets hit in the face with a catapult. I don't know what happened. I don't remember. But what do you think would happen if that timer was stuck at zero? I know. You're like, well, that would be quite a lot of spears. Soda, that would be quite a lot of them. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So, oh my god, I hope this is usable. My brain just keeps turning off. My brain cell keeps flickering like a light bulb, like that one Mario Party minigame where you got to spin the tires and it's very scary. Now imagine if that spear guy didn't throw a spear, but instead shot like a shotgun volley of arrows. Let's, see, let's take a look at that here, right? Oh man, it does pretty good. Look at that. And, you know, and there's a chance that he might even take care of these guys, you know, if assuming the spears don't get blocked by the shields, which a lot of them did, you know, it's, it's, the, the chances are kind of low that he's going to attack fast enough to stop these guys. Oh, and now the arrows are coming into play. It's no good. But check this out. What you can do instead of coming up with a real strategy is just remove the limiter on these guys. Make them... Make them the make them the one punch men, right? Just take any stat you can think of and delete the cap off that bad boy. So these guys, these cheerleaders, only have one attack: pom pom one, pom pom two, and everyone deletes one second off your timer. It is ridiculous. Check this out. Uh, you're gonna. It's better seen with your eyes than than with your ears. With what I'm saying. Oh yeah, give it a second to charge up. See that? Oh yeah. Yay! Death to my enemies! Whee! Mm. This milk hits so different. God. Okay, so these guys are stupid, okay? So they've brought... Okay, I mean, not too stupid, but the front line is all children. That's not gonna stop me. Back line? Samurais. I'll explain why that's important in a minute. Back line? Back, back line? Musketeers. 15 seconds between each shot, but a pretty dang powerful shot it is, and pinpoint accurate and insanely long range. Observe the difference here. Observe, observe a taste of what they can do. These little guys, if you don't, if you don't beat the children to death fast enough, they, they catch you. They can swarm you like piranha. Oh, oh, no, the musketeers. They're up, yeah, and then these guys are gonna hold me back. That's no good. And you'd be like, oh, okay, we'll just we'll just shoot them with arrows. Like, let me let me let me show you a thing or two about a thing or two here. Archers. Let's make a firing line of. Let's just make a firing line of archers. Oh, very nifty, very nifty. Oh, what's that? What what's that? The the archer the the samurai say no to arrows. As you see, a certain number overwhelms them, but 
Come on, man. They're gonna hold you back. And then when they get there, they got samurai swords. That's no good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna completely flip this on its head. And we're gonna say, you know, what if instead of a couple of archers, what if we, I don't know, did as many cheerleaders as we can afford and then unleash clams. So remember, the other half of the way this game is balanced is unit count. And some of these units are clever in the fact that they spawn these weak little guys. Normally it'd be like 30 seconds between each round to five, but wouldn't you know it, you take the cap off that bad boy and you got it one billion clams. Ooh, and they don't have melee attacks. I don't know if they can... Oh, didn't quite work out. Hold on. Round two. Let's put the cheerleaders in front to absorb some bullets. No cell phones, nothing. Just a bunch of clams living in the moment. Oh no, it's thousands of arrows! Yay! Okay, now this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one, but you're never going to believe what we're going to do. We're going to take this guy. And here, 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 here. We're going to do an advanced strategy. We're going to place down this guy. And then we're going to place down some clams. And clams is this guy who's made of clams. Clams also has the power to summon about five clams per attack. And his attacks are pretty slow, as any unit that summons units would be. But if you possess him and surround him with cheerleaders, holy moly! Look at all these clams! Can you hear my mouse? Can you hear my mouse? Now let's just take a little look at the competition. Oh, completely surrounded by clams. Let's 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 do a little more. Normally, troops won't fire unless they can see the enemy. So if you possess him with F, you can really just let it rip. Any more clams? Uh-oh. The ninjas are trying to throw ninja stars at the clams. Better hit them with some more clams. Oh, cheerleaders? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. They're good. They know everything about using terrain to their advantage. Let's just take a little look around. I think the cause of death was being bitten by a thousand clams. Let's see the next challenge, shall we? Ooh, a hill. That's pretty good, because like I said, uh, the Hawucha, uh, the Hawucha Matata, uh, is probably only going to shoot when it can see them. So if these guys crest the hill, you know, they'll snipe this guy. Very potent stuff. So we're going to actually have to take advantage of another technique called uh, completely breaking the game in half over my knee like it is made of a child. Um, the ancient warriors had a technique where they would tie snakes to arrows. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, but completely remove the limit of the, uh, the balance the devs put on this creature. Um, so observe. Oh, yeah. And now these come to life. Wonderful. The harpooners are missing the harpoons. The musketeers are shooting the ground fruitlessly. My subscribers are questioning why I'm not turning a person into an animal. I don't know, man. It's 4 a.m. I wanted to record some content. And I just really like throwing snakes at ninjas. Uh oh. Oh. That was close. A couple dozen more snakes should do it. I'm gonna let these fights play out because I imagine everyone's really curious to see if the Nusketeers can get their brains together, stop putting their guns behind their butts, and just snipe the one enemy that's actually a problem. Uh oh, though. It is a lot of... It do be a lot of snakes, though. Mmm, this milk. Hitting different. Okay. $5,000? That's a lot of dollars. 
But we got a king, we got his knights, we got healers, skeletons, sword wizard, and then three ninjas. That's kind of a lot. So we're really going to have to think carefully here. Now, what unit would completely turn this on its head? <laughs> what about a sword master of our own? Woo! Holy crap! Oh my god, look at him go! Oh, that's his normal attack speed. Uh-oh. Okay. We're gonna use an advanced strategy called putting him somewhere else. I like this, though. I like this, though. We'll keep mixing it up. <laughs> Notice the cheerleaders do have a weakness. They do absolutely nothing other than buff. Whoa! Can you pay attention? We'll do the opposite. The sword master can do it, guys. Come on. Put him right here because he keeps wandering off. Holy crap! These guys hate thousands of swords! Oh my god. Easy game. If you've ever been stuck on this game, just, just completely destroy it, okay? Just take it and just bah! You know? Like, for instance, let's take one of these for a second. Let's see. This is a guy, very slow. He reads from a book. He's kind of a nerd. He goes, huh? And then it's pretty powerful, actually. God smites who he lands on. But as you see, the delay kind of gets you. Let's see if we can make him fast enough to... Uh, this is just a little experiment I'm doing. Let's see if we can... Just make them so fast that you want to, you know, you're just terrified for your life. There we go. Holy moly! Oh my god, he wiped out his own brigade. That's so messed up. Holy crap, he threw people at me! And let that be a lesson to you. Always return your books to the library. Okay, close quarters combat. Interesting notion. Uh, another thing I find interesting is that this guy summons lightning storms. So let's put this guy here. Let's see what he does with, oh, I don't know, uh, cheer squad. Holy crap! Oh my god, I didn't even get to see it. Wow! Oh, this is one of my favorite maps. You got these guys. If you put people here, these guys are going to jump across. Zeus over here, he's an asshole. They've got also a... And that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope that they have that. Um, but I'm thinking we get a bunch of cheerleaders, right? And then I'm thinking we release the clams. Oh, that didn't work. More clams! More! He just shot a cheerleader. Alright, alright, alright. What if we do something else? What if we rain hell upon them? Okay, that worked. Cheerleader fell down. No good. Uh, good thing that guy's stupid. Because Gunslinger's taking the long way.
Oh, okay. That might work with a little bit different RNG, but I'm not playing that way right now. Uh oh, I need to pick up the pace. Mentally. Or else I'm gonna look like a big silly goober. Snake Archer will take care of this. Uh-oh. I think a little helping hand is required. Oh, yeah. I wonder how fast I can click this. Yeah, that's a lot of snakes! Why are you stopping? Hey! Yay! That mission really slowed me down. Okay, ballistas. Very slow, very powerful. $6,000. Very slow, very powerful. Some bruisers on either side. Hmm. Let's put clams in sight of these guys, and the cheerleaders just completely surrounding them. And then he'll build up a clam army. Oh! God. Holy moly! Summon your solar ring! Oh, he can't! They're gonna make me do it. They're gonna make me do it. They're gonna make me try. Are you serious? That's what I thought. Ugh. And then along came Zeus. This one don't even make me laugh about it. Don't even make me laugh about it, alright? It's nothing several thousand arrows can't handle. Oh, that's a tough boy. That's a tough boy. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the thumbnail. Let's see if the ballista will behave itself. And just like not just like fall off this track. If it doesn't, it's actually the best bet here. Especially with how many arrows we're giving it. Deflect that, jackass! Oh! That, oh! Now, how does it feel for you to get ballista, huh? With his fucking octagonal wheels. Well, let's see. What happened to this guy? Ooh! Right in the liver. Okay. Multi-level marketing. I, it's not that I haven't heard of it, okay? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to avoid the archers while surrounding all these guys with clams, is what I'm thinking. So I think we're going to bring out clams, our favorite guy, and his cheer squad. Because he... he... Uh-oh! They got clams! Okay, put clams right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Release a swarm of clams. Uh, 
I think the arrow hit his clam. Now, the clams on a timer, or are they gonna... Ooh, they are on a timer. They're not gonna last long enough. Hmm. Let's see here. It turns out that if you stand back, they try to 360 no-scope you. And while that might succeed on a normal person, I don't see how that will succeed on our snake archer. Okay, it succeeded. Why they avoided the cheerleaders? I don't know. Is it because they're pretty women? I don't know, maybe. You're making me do this. You're making me drive. You can try all you want, but there's always more snakes. Ooh, direct snake hit. Ooh, I saw where I bit him. Oh, on the jugular, look. Okay, so these guys think they're smart, right? Because they have one billion catapults. But what if I have... Uh, I don't know. Just a guy with a gun and a lot of time on his hands. What a, I, I think there's a reason I don't do this, but let's see. Uh-oh, is he just too good? No, he's stupid. He should be attacking already. Let's give these guys the clams. Come on. Come on, clams. The clams are blockaded by the pile of corpses. I mean, we didn't win, but we didn't lose either. Look at this guy. We'll give him a direct attack. Oh, they're not a fan. That's bullshit. Gravity is doing most of the work. He's gonna make me do it. It's gonna make me do it. Yeah, Zeus, do it like this. Quit playing. Quit goofing. I will corner snipe your ass. That's what I thought. Oh my god, how many levels are there? Oh. There's like two left. I have an idea. It's so close. You have no idea how close this is. I can almost taste how close this is. Is this just a matter of Zeus in it? Oh shit. Holy crap, Zeus. All right, about time for manual mode. Hear you over my oh, how cool I am. All right.
Woo! It's so late at night. It's so late at night. That's how I feel, man. Almost there. Let's see here. So, could a boosted Thor do this for us? He's not quite boosted the way I thought he would be. I mean, maybe he has enough health for this, but like, oh, no, never mind. Farmers? Oh, oh, that didn't work. This is going to be a tricky one because we're completely surrounded. This might be the end of the road. I don't know. Is there a single unit that one boost? Mace Spinner? Well, I got an achievement. You would think that means I win. No, I don't. Is there like a really overpowered unit that needs just like one boost rather than 50 boosts? What about a Samurai Sensei? What the hell? Oh my god. Is he gonna I don't even I don't even know how you lost, man. He was doing a jutsu. Super soldier, super soldier. Holy crap. Are you going to lose? Oh, he's pinned between the ice. That's close. I'm just dumbfounded. Oh, the ice wall holding it still again. Oh shit, okay. I didn't know tornado boosting was a thing. I... Wait, what? This isn't the last one, is it? That'd be a little lame, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can do something with Old Faithful, huh? Oh, nope. They got more range. Holy crap, they took each other out. Aha! That means I get to go to bed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you like something a little different. Um, I don't know. I had fun with it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any specific challenges or anything you'd like me to do. Uh, see ya.